All right, folks, welcome back to Karak Avalon's Gaming. We're back in Valheim, and today I have a another unique seed discovery video for you. Um, this particular seed has a little bit of everything, actually. It's got a small island with the trader and the elder. It's got a small island with a maypole on it, and it has a maypole that's actually right almost right in the mountains it's pretty unique i haven't found a seed like this before um if you're new to my channel what i do for valheim content is i do seed discovery videos so i find a seed that i think is interesting i get in the game i check it out and we do a review of the seed we look at this uh valheim seed generator take a look at uh, where the bosses are located etc so it's a fairly deep dive and there's a lot of spoilers if you are a frequent flyer of my channel, you're familiar with the type of format of this video and the type of content that I'm going to deliver here. This one's pretty unique. I think this would be a pretty good playthrough, actually. Uh, some of these locations are pretty, pretty cool. Anyways, before I get going, let me say thank you. Thank you for taking your time to watch my content. I really appreciate it. Please smash that like button. Please subscribe. Please share the video. All that stuff really helps the channel out, and I really, really appreciate the support. So, at the time of creating this video, we're in the middle of the Midsummer Festival for Valheim. So you can technically build a maypole wherever you want, in just out of your build menu. However, that will end at some point, and at that point, um, you will need to find maypoles out in the wild again, unless you go into the cheat mode. This seed has two maypoles in it, and both of the maypoles are in very unique locations. So this is going to be a little bit deeper of a dive than we normally do, because um, I need to fly around and show you these locations. So the other thing about this seed is, is that there is a small island that has the trader and the elder. So that's also one of the things that we focus on on this channel, is I look for little, little island builds. Um, and just unique seeds. So let's get to it. We're here. Here's that little island. Okay, this little island has a trader. Look at that. There's the elder spawn right here. Okay. Um, this is probably going to be a horrible place for a fight. <laughs> okay, because you got the water right here. Um, and then, you know, you can run up here maybe. Uh, but still, it's a unique place for the elder. And, you know, the other thing that this provides is, is the Elder base is is something you can build on this, okay? Now, I don't have cheats enabled. Well, I can just do it real quickly just so you can see. So, you can build here, okay? Um, let's get a stone wall real quick to show you, okay? You know, you can build right here, and you can build a little fortress if you want. Um... I haven't personally built a a base on the elder elder shrine, but this is a permanent fire source that will never go out. Now, if you enclose this, I have watched a couple of videos. This will it, it's like any other smoke; you can die from it, but it's permanent fire source, which is cool. Um, just make sure you don't throw any ancient seeds in there after you've built your <laughs> built your base. So that's cool thing number one now i did check out this this black forest little island it's all black forest um there there's definitely um copper and tin here you're not gonna have any problem i found three spawners as i flew around and the interior i didn't look too much but we're gonna look at the valheim c generator map and we'll see if there's any um crypts on here that would be pretty cool i think this would be a great location to uh maybe build a base you know you build a portal right here near the near near the trader or you know if you want to build your base right here at the elder shrine so i think in and of itself that would merit a video for me you know this is a cool little location for novelty builds role play um maybe you know a group co-op co-op server um because you've got two important items in one little area so that's always worthy of it of a video and that's you know the trader and obviously the elder spawn so there's that but there's also maypoles now 
Where are the maypoles? The maypoles are all over the place. Now, one of them, the unique one in the mountains, is actually near your starter point. Here is the res, okay? You're going to have to sail up to this little island. And you'll see that in the sea generator in a minute. But let's get back to this area right here. This one is pretty unique as well. So let's fly back to that. So, obviously, I'm in cheat mode, okay? Um, I do that for the videos, and I also do that for some of the builds that I test out. Now, for you, if you're n playing in um, just the regular mode, you're going to have to build a boat to get to these locations. I think this location that we're about to go to next is worth it because I think this would be a really, really cool little base to build on. Now, this is a Maypole location. Again, in the summer... We're, we're in the middle of the summer festival. You do not need to find maypoles out in the wild. You can just build whatever you want. But this particular location has a little bit of swamp near it. Nothing major, nothing really to worry about. You can get some ancient trees if you want. Um, I don't think there's really much else here. There's probably some leeches, blob, whatever. Well, there's some draugr or two. You can get some intestines to make your sausage if you so desire. Um, and then you've got some more um, meadows. Now, number one, there's a little, little f village right here with some wood resources right in the water. This in and of itself is a pretty good location to build. Um, I don't think that's a boar stone. But see right out here, this little island? Yeah, that's a maypole. That's a little maypole on this little, little island. Now, you can see there's shallows all around it here, right? So... I mean, it's not like a deep water island in the middle of nowhere, but, you know, you've got four raspberry bushes, you've got a piggy running around, which is, you know, you can close him, maybe uh, domesticate him, and you've got three deers, which will continue to respawn, and you've got this little house, and of course you've got the maypole. That's pretty unique. Um, I've never seen one on an island before like this. So that's pretty cool. And then, you know, there's another little island over there. <clears throat> Excuse me. One of my issues with islands is is when there's a storm, you will be overrun with water. But this one actually looks like you'd be okay because of how far up it's built. But I think that's a pretty unique location for a maypole. So let's get to our last location, and that's back here. This will take a minute to fly to. Um... On your way to that island maypole, of course, there is this other little island here. Um, you know, nothing special about this. There is a boar stone here that I noticed. Um, yeah, there's your boar spawn, which is, you know, neat. But, uh, you know, I like unique little islands like this. Uh, I think they're cool to think about builds on. Uh, but, you know, there's nothing unique about this one. Now, that other one with the maypole, that was cool. But this last location, I think, is pretty, pretty awesome as well. It's a maypole that's up near the mountains, which is uh, not unique in and of itself. But this particular one is closer to the mountain biome than I've seen before. Okay, and you'll see when we get there. Um, there's a nice troll cave right on the coast. That's good to know. Um, you'll see when we get there, it's literally almost in the mountain. It's pretty damn close, which is cool. And here it is. It's right up here. Okay, so you're going to be able to get wolves. You're going to get snowstorms. You're going to get all sorts of interesting stuff. You've got some wood resources here. You've got a fairly good size little outbuilding that you could beef up pretty quickly to make a ba you know, to make a make a place. A um, couple of raspberries, but yeah, you know, there's another building over there. I didn't notice that before. But this maypole is pretty. That's very very close to the mountains. Um, maybe you could build a little hut right here uh, with the maypole in the center put a slap of bed right there and you can watch the winter snows roll in. Now you're probably going to get some mountain activity. You'll probably get golems. You'll probably get wolves. This is a very, this is very, very close to the mountains. 
Um, I don't know that I would build here. I'm, I'm more inclined to build on the water, but hey, this seed has two maypoles. One of them is right near the mountains. The other one uh, right on a little island. And you've got a little island trader with elder. I think this is a pretty unique seed. Um, I think this would be worthy of a playthrough for maybe a modded server with a few buddies. Um, depending, you know, I, I really don't know what's up here. I haven't checked this mountain biome yet. But let's get to the seed um, generator and check it out. So here we are. Here's the here's the spawn, okay? Not actually not a bad little location. Bosses, you've got Ichthyr. There's that elder with the trader up here, okay? So there's that. Now, you've got a motor down here and down here. The problem is, is where the heck is bone mass? Yagloth is up here, which is fairly close to your elder and trader. That's reasonable distance. You know, it'd be great if they were all in a straight line for from your from your spawn but they're not bone mass is a little bit of an issue you've got a bone mass up here to the northeast don't really see one down way down here that's a little far away um, these are actually pretty close too so all right so that's your cross to bear on this particular seed is you're gonna have to find bone mass uh, maypoles here are those maples. So here's that one on the cusp of the mountain biome. Uh, you know, uh, y you can get there from your spawn, so I, I think that's pretty cool. The problem is, is you know, what's going to come down from the mountains and ruin your day? And here's that little um, island maypole, which is pretty unique in of itself. And again, here's the elder right on the coast and the trader. So those items alone make this a fairly unique seed but let's see what else we have what else this has to offer let's take a look at leviathans not bad so when you're heading up to this elder trader location you've got four leviathans right there that should really help you uh you should be able to get all the chitlin you need for your um your abyssal razor and harpoon which is cool and then there's another one here and two more here that's great. And then more over here. Fantastic for um, Leviathans. That's good. Uh, tombs and Crypts. Okay, cool. So we've got a couple of tombs on this little island. Um, nothing to write home about. It'd be nice if there were more. But two is enough to farm, depending on how fast they respawn for you. Um, this is a pretty beefy... Uh, dark forest biome up here or black forest I always get those two mixed up not much over here this is a very very thick sunken crypt location uh, but you want something a little bit closer there's one right here which is a eh. couple over here I mean oh there's a bone mass right there um, I think bone mass and the iron age is going to be your um, that's going to be your pain point in this particular seed, but, you know, again, how painful, right? You're going to, you're supposed to be sailing anyways, you're a Viking, but, um, there's nothing immediate. Now, I don't know where you would build your base here. I, for me, I would build it on this little island, the Maypole, and just make this a sailor seed, you know, where I'm boating everywhere. So that wouldn't be a big deal to me. This is fairly unique down here. You've got this little archipelago of small islands and this crypts. So I think this, this would be a fun seed to go discover stuff in. Um, not bad. Uh, let's see. We want to see. Let's see where the troll caves are. Okay, there's one right here by the trader and one right here by the elder. That's cool. You could build a nice little base up here. Uh, just a portal, I mean, right there. Um, I want to see if there's one anywhere near a bone mass. There's one right there. Um, so you could pop a portal in here too, so you don't have to sail all the time. I always look for troll caves because they're easy to just you know, kill the troll. And then you've got a nice little portal right there. There's enough for a portal, a fire, a workbench, and usually you can fit a bed in there as well if you need it. So there's that. Uh, beehives. Beehives are 
plentiful near the starter area. Again, uh, you just want to grab as many of those as you can when you start out because, you know, honey is just a reoccurring food source. It's, it's solid must-have for your early gameplay. So that's cool. Um, let's take a look at our mountain biome stuff. So we're going to look at frost caves. None here. That would be cool if there was one there. And we're going to look at dragon eggs. All right, so this this mountain biome doesn't have much. Maybe there's some silver veins in there. I don't know. Now, this motor location down here looks pretty solid in terms of resources. The problem is, is that you've got little patches of plains here. And depending on where you're at with your gameplay, that could be a real pain in the ass getting to this motor location because death mosquitoes can be really... You can get overwhelmed pretty quickly in the plains. At least I, I can. I don't know about you. So that's not horrible. Um, it's a pretty decent location over here. A little bit here, a little bit there. I mean, not great, but it's great that on the closest motor location, you do have plenty of dragon eggs and plenty of um, frost caves. So you should have no problem. You just need to get up there and build a base somewhere and you should be fine so that's pretty solid um how about some guck everybody likes guck right be great if there was one or two here that you could farm up there isn't interesting little strip down here oh, it's pretty close um a little bit everywhere again uh, I, this location over here is where all of those iron crypts were this is this is going to be a great farming location for your Iron Age right down here. That's where I think I would end up going, in the, or up here with this bone mass, but you can choose. Let's see. Um, useful runes. Where are the piggies? A couple of piggies. Um, you know, here's that one that we just flew by a few minutes ago on our way down to this uh, mountain maple. Um, you know, you, boars are great. You definitely want to get them domesticated so you can start farming them up for their for their meat. Um, but it looks like if you built around this maypole, you'd have plenty of boars to pick from. This is pretty interesting here. It's just like this little island. Um, maybe if you did have a nice boat, you know, or a raft, you could just sail over here. Uh, fence it all in and just let them domesticate. But, you know, that's, again, I think that's one, this particular seed has a, a lot of unique little locations in it near of the spawn point that you can, you know, be pretty creative here if you wanted, uh, I think. But, you know, to each their own. What else? Uh, let's do, let's do the planes real quick. So tar pits. Eh, not bad. Let's look at those totems, though. Yeah, there's a couple up here by the Yagloth, which is good. Um, you're going to need those. Uh, this over here is a huge plains area, which is nice. But, you know, this is where you're going to end up hitting Yagloth, probably, if you built your base down around here. And you've got a few places to gather totems. And you're going to have to run up here, obviously. Um, not horrible. Not the best, either. This Yagloth location, I didn't go and check out but it's pretty darn close to the water as well so that might be unique fight as as well so oh yeah we're in the middle of the night okay so overall i think this is a pretty unique seed this is interesting i don't I, you know i don't know if i do a playthrough at this location but that little island with the maypole that's pretty cool uh, I haven't seen a little island like that before with a maypole on it. That's that's a new one for me. And I've checked out a lot of seeds with a lot of maypoles, believe me. So tell me what you think in the comments below. Is this a seed that you do a playthrough on? Is this the type of uh, unique type of seeds that, you know, that you're looking for? I know a lot of people want to find all the bosses on one locate near one location, so it's an easy run through. I'm at the point in my Valheim experience where I'm looking for unique seeds so I can try unique builds, unique playthroughs, but to each their own. 
Uh, let me know in the comments below if you like this content. Um, I'm trying to do more unique seeds because obviously we're in the summer, the midsummer event, and like I said before earlier, everybody can build a maypole anywhere they want right now. That won't last forever. Eventually, we will be back to uh, maypole to seed discoveries, p particularly when the mists, uh, the mist expansion drops because what happens is is when the mists drop when, when they have big expansions or they have big updates to the game a lot of the maps change you know where the bosses are located where maypoles are located etc now if you start a seed and save it in your cloud prior to that it will save the seed as it is constituted at the point you saved it so if you log in today log into the seed which I will leave in the description of the video it will appear exactly as it appears for me um, now after the update it may change or it may not so always keep that in mind when you're doing seed when you're looking for seeds and you found one that you really really like and you like the way it looks as is save it as a as a campaign or or uh, you know yeah, save it as a campaign at that point, because if you try to come back later after an update, it may not be the same. Anyways, I really appreciate you taking your time to watch my content. Thank you so much, and I'll talk to you again soon.